In this tutorial, we'll be looking at how to understand the question. We'll be looking at two questions just like these. They're very, very similar questions and we can use colour coding to unpack them to help us answer them and select the correct information that each question requires. Most questions of this type have two parts to them. The first part is the information that you're given about the patient or the medicines or the times they have to be given. This information could be on a patient's chart in a hospital. Then the second part of the question is actually the task that you have to perform. This is the actual question part and there should be a question mark at the end of that sentence to let you know that you're being asked a question. Let's go back and look at the two questions now. If we look at the colour coding, we can see that in both questions the information is identical. A patient needs one litre of 5% strength dextrose solution for the next eight hours. But in each of these questions, the second half is different, and this is why there's some different colour coding. In question one, we're asked to work out the rate in mils per hour that the dextrose solution should be given. In the second question, something very different is going on. We're being asked how many grams of dextrose will the patient receive when all that fluid has entered their body. So we have to select different bits of information. OK, let's have a look at question number one. Here we have the information about the patient and the question is asking for the rate in mils per hour that the dextrose solution should be given. So here we need to select the information about the mils. So we go to the litre and we should know that this one litre is 1,000 mils. And this is going to be divided by the number of hours, which in this question is eight. Notice that I am not using the 5%. This is irrelevant to this question. Going back to this, I can now use the halving method. Halving the top and the bottom. I can halve again. And this will give me 125, and don't forget to put mils per hour. If you'd like to see more of these infusion rate calculations, you can go to the video on infusion rates. In the second question, we're being asked for how many grams of dextrose the patient will receive when the fluid's gone into the body. In this case, we need to look at the 5%. This is telling us the strength of the solution and therefore how much dextrose sugar has gone in to the liquid. In this question, we do not need the eight hours. So once again, we'll take our litre and turn it into mils. This is 1,000. And we'll multiply it by 5. And remember, percentages are always out of 100. Now this is nice and easy, because I can cancel a 0 on top for a 0 on the bottom, and another 0 on top for another 0 on the bottom. And this leaves me with 10 times 5 is 50 grams. The one on the bottom does nothing, and I can only cancel, do this cancelling with zeros.
If you want to look at more percentage um, questions, go to the percentage tutorial.